Hello dear all aspirants, welcome back to SSB Crack Exams. I am Mrs. Lakshmi, Maths Mentor from SSB Crack Exams. Welcome you in eight, another session discussion on the topic time in work, which is one of the important topic your upcoming AFCAT 2020 exam point of view. I am delivering a lecture in the series of top 200 most expected questions in numerical ability section. And today too, we are going to solve few more interesting problems based on time and work concept. So, I would like to hence recall you that if you want to prepare for your AFCAT written examination, please buy our course, visit our webpage learn.ssbcrackexams.com, enroll for free and then do buy and to buy and access all the important mock test series which we have provided and they are really required for you for this time period to attempt your AFCAT examination in all the three sections okay so you can take the help of the code warrior 10 to buy a course with the flat 10 percent off you can subscribe to our channels youtube channel ssb crack exams you can visit our instagram page SSB crack exams that ample amount of information being shared for all the defense aspirants like you right from the notification till the pattern of examination and the expected question for your upcoming examinations. So you do visit our webpage learn.sbcrackexams to know all the insights of all the important officers exams courses we have launched which are really beneficial for you to crack your defense written examination. You can also download our app from Google Play Store named SSB Crack Exams. You can there too enroll for free, access our free content too. So please do avail these all opportunities and get benefited with the content and all the best in your AFCAP 2020 exam preparation. So let's now move on to the question based on time and work which can be part of your upcoming AFCAT 2020 exam. Here given 24 men working 8 hours a day. They can finish a work in just 10 days. Working at the rate of 10 hours a day, the number of men required to finish the same work in 6 days is. So if you recall, one of the segment of my lecture on time and work, I had given you a shortcut formula. Can you recall that M1, D1, T1, W2 is equals to M2, D2, T2, W1. Here this formula is clearly applicable. They are given two groups of people, 24 men in the first group and in the latter group, the number of men are unknown. So this M2 we have to calculate. But here wages are not required to consider so we modify this formula and use it for this problem with the note that M1 given 24 men, right? The number of hours per day working, T1 here mentioned 8 hours a day, right? And the number of days they are working for are 10 days. Similarly, the other group in that number of men are unknown, so question mark, and they are required to finish the same work working at the rate of 10 hours a day. So T2 is given 10 hours a day and number of days they are taking is 6. So hence we have the formula for M2 then. Can you derive a formula for M2 from here? M2 what do you get? M2 is equals to M1 D1 T1 divided by D2 T2 isn't it? So here I would just substitute the value for values for you. M1 24 into D1 10 into T1 8 divided by T2 10 into D2 6 which gives you the answer very easily like this 24 is reduced by 6 as 4, 4, 8 are 32 main are required to complete the work at the rate of 10 hours a day in just 6 days. So option is B, right choice for this question. Next question let's look into a man, a woman or a boy can do a job in 20 days, 30 days and 60 days respectively. So a man can complete a task fully in just 20 days, a woman can complete a task in 30 days whereas a boy complete a task in 16 days, sorry 60 days, it's given to you. 
asked about how many boys must assist two men and eight women to do the work in two days. So here you understand this statement meaning to do the work in two days means you are talking about work to be done in two days. Basically you know in the question initially the number of days individually each man, woman and a boy takes. So from that it's easy for us for two days if they are individually working what part of the work they would complete right. So for two days if you get to know that work we can talk about for two men and eight women work with the unknown boys needed to be assessed to complete the work by those two days. So hence here hint is that first of all you take the help of the initial condition their individual days to write about their one day work and transform it to two days work which required for the problem right. So here one man I would write one man one day work would be how much 1 over 20. So one man two day work two days work would be how much 2 over 20 right so 2 over 20 would be 1 over 10th part similarly for women we write one woman one day work one woman one day work is mentioned 1 over 30th part of the work so one woman but two days of work how much it would be then 2 times of 1 over 30 right and hence it has to be for two days one over 15th part of the work these works are important for us to consider to finalize the statement of solving for unknown number of boys right so now see we set up an equation two men are working with the rate of one over 10th part for two days work right then how many women are working eight women are working for the two days work with the rate 1 over 15 plus unknown boys. For unknown boys, shall we write here directly? Here they are given 60 means for unknown boys it would be how much? 2 times 1 over 6 means 1 over 30, right? So x times 1 over 30 they are togetherly now completing the work, isn't it? So this whole process is to give the output, complete output as equals to 1. So if you simplify this, you are going to get 2 over 10 plus 8 over 15 plus x over 30 equals to 1 which on further simplification is the equation for x equals to that is 1 minus 1 over 5 minus 8 over 15 right times get multiplied by this 30 right. So this would result you the final answer that is x is equals to 8 boys. Right and hence for this question correct option is B. Right here you just have to be good at tackling a linear equation in variable x. If you are good at that part you nowhere miss getting the accurate answer to your question. Next question. A man can do a piece of work in 5 days. A man can do a piece of work in 5 days means 5 days for a work means one day work is 1 over 5. Understood? But if the boy is helping, that is the son, his son is helping, he can do it in 3 days. So can you understand here, these 3 days are the take work, I mean the days taken by both of them working together to complete a task. So in what time can the son do it alone then? So this question is actually straightforward on one of the shortcut formula, you know, if you consider that A takes X days to finish a work and a person B takes Y days to finish a work, right? So A plus B, how many days they would take, you know, the answer is XY upon X plus Y days. This is a shortcut formula. This actually be derived with the help of concept only. You add up their one day work, you're going to get their combined work for a day, take the reciprocal, you get this formula. So here you have a choice either you can apply the shortcut formula or just take the help of the given scenario that one man is doing the work by taking five days means one day work one day work by man is one over five right for boy it is unknown so we can take it as x so one day work by boy we take it as 1 over x with the requirement that 
let x be days taken by sun alone right so this fact we can consider so now we know that 1 over 5 plus 1 over x yielding their combined work for a day 1 over 3 so this is going to give you 1 over x is equals to 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 which is equals to 2 over 15 so as you could see the value of x then you can easily calculate as taking the reciprocal 15 by 2 which is the reciprocal of 2 by 15 so this yields you to 7s are remainder 1 over 2 days 7 half days so option c is the right choice for this question you apply this formula too, you get the same answer and let me know if you find any difficulty applying this shortcut formula. It's one of the easiest. Just you need to substitute here in place of the person A as number of days for man. So X you take as 5 and Y you take as unknown to calculate the answer. Okay. Next question. Pipe A can fill a tank in 5 hours. Pipe B in 10 hours and pipe C in 30 hours. So this problem can you recall it is from the category pipes or cistern right. But to solve the problem based on pipes or cistern we indirectly using the concepts of work in time only just the person the group of main right women replaced by pipes or cisterns in the problem. But so, Overall scenario to complete the work and get it done, find the remaining work, those all problems would be of similar kind. Okay, so pipe A can fill a tank in 5 hours means it's like for a person A to complete work in 5 days like that. So you can, this is the analogy there in the concepts of time and work and pipes or system. Okay, so same formulas are applicable here too, please try to understand. So here pipe A we know 5 hours it's taking pipe B 10 hours, pipe C 30 hours. If all three are open means they are all three working together to complete a task. So in how many hours will the tank is filled? So this problem I can modify for you in terms of time and work concept. That person A takes 5 days to complete a task, person B takes 10 days to complete a task, person C takes 30 days to complete a task. If they work together, how many days it will take? That's the same. So. For this problem, I have a shortcut for you. So A takes X days, B takes Y days or it can be in hours also, not an issue, right? So C takes Z hours, then together if they work, they would take, you know, what number of days? The number of days we calculate it as X, Y, Z divided by X, Y plus Y, Z plus Z, X. So this is a shortcut formula I am going to apply here in this problem. Here A, B, C are replaced by the three pipes and X, Y, Z are the time taken by them to work alone to come finish their task of filling a tank. So here we find the required days directly then, sorry, required hours which has to be 5 into 10 into 30 divided by 5 into 10 plus 10 into 30 plus 5 into 30. Numerator as you could see 5 tens are 50, 50 into 30 going to give you 1500 and in the denominator see 5 tens are 50, this is 300 and 5 threes are 15 so 150. So 150 plus 50 it's 2, 200 plus 300 going to give you 500. So 501, 500, 3 you are getting the answer hence 3 hours. So option C is the right choice for this question. So knowing the formula equivalently save your time to attempt the question in right period of time in your FCAT examination. Next question. Two taps can fill a tank in 12 and 18 minutes respectively. Both are kept open for 2 minutes just means they are worked they have worked for only two minutes together and later first uh, turned off. So in how many minutes more will the tank is filled? So this problem is analogous to the problem based on time and work where the remaining work you need to calculate and remaining work need to be divided by the rate of work for the second person who is finishing that task. So same concept let us carry forward here and try to calculate. So first of all what you need to do? 
See, two pipes are working for two minutes only. Right? So when it's given that two taps taking 12 and 18 minutes respectively to fill a tank means one minute, one over 12th part of the tank fills. One minute, one over 18th part of the tank fill for the second tap. So I would write one minute, I would say these two taps are these two taps we consider to be tap number A and B. So one minute A plus B fills what part of the tank? 1 over 12th plus 1 over 18th. Right? So this is if you calculate you get the fraction 12 plus 12, 12 plus 18 that would be 30 upon 12 into 18. Right? Which you can reduce to get 3, 4, 3, 1, 0 and 2, 2, 2, 5 to get 5 upon 36. That is just for a minute. But they are working for how many minutes together? 2 minutes. So 2 minute calculation you can do. So 2 minute A plus B fills what part of the work? 2 times of this 5 over 36. That is, it's clear that it's 5 over 18th part of the tank which is getting filled. Right? So there is a remaining part of the tank which is empty still. Right? So the remaining we let us calculate. And here also is the same concept to calculate remaining 1 minus the known part of the work. So 1 minus 5 over 18 gonna give you 18 minus 5 that is 13 over 18. And this work who has to complete the other pipe. Because first pipe has turned up. So other pipe is the pipe whose rate of work is 1 over 18th in a minute to fill a tank. Right? So therefore the required time you will get it. Right? Just by dividing this remaining work 13 over 18 by the rate of work of the pipe B, the second pipe 18. So reciprocal of 18, this reciprocal of 1 by 18 is 18. So I would multiply it by 18 to get the answer 13. So hence the option D for this question. Very clear to you. So see that you are following our YouTube channel, knowing all the strategic steps to tackle questions based on the different important topics which are there in your numerical ability section for your AFCAT examination to crack on. So all the best in your preparation. Please do visit our webpage and do download our app to explore the free content and do buy a course to be benefited and crack your required defense examination. All the best.